I cannot believe it, what's happening right now. But I still I believe the, the biggest win is still somewhere in the future. Yeah. You called the left hook finish. You said that's how you were going to get it done. What was, what did you know? How did you foresee that? No, I see this, uh, the left hook. Uh, when I prepare for this battle in my dreams, when I do my mentality training, so I just believe in that, then I, then I can hit him, this left hook. I watch, uh, you know, uh, how Bisping do this in his fight 10,000 times. So I just know it, it will come. You're never a big talker, but after it, I saw you pointed down to your foot, you know, kind of in reference to the face-off, of course, at the media day. So give me an idea. I mean, was this an emotional thing for you? I mean, was this personal for you? Because when you do face-off, a uh, few days before fight, he said, ah, you've got small feet, yeah? I say, I don't know why he said that. And I say, say to him that he gonna feel it in the fight, my feet. And in the last of the first round, he feel it. And you said afterwards, you said, hey, there were rumors that he's going to get a title shot. Now I want you didn't exactly make a strong case. You just said, yeah, maybe I deserve a title shot. So make the case now. Tell us why you deserve the next title shot. I don't know. I think I deserve. I beat Luke Lockhart. He's a great fighter. I knock him out. So maybe I would like to, you know, I'm have 36 years old. So now this is the best time for me. Yeah, and just one from me. Um, after the fight, uh, it showed you on TV saying something to Dana White through the cage. What, what were you saying? I just asked him, did he like uh, my fight? And he said that he liked it. And uh, I just said to him that I'm proud and I can be part of the uh, UFC. That's it. And um, what about a turnaround? Obviously, a massive win for you tonight. But are you carrying, carrying any injuries from this? No, nothing. Like after the fight, you know, some scratches, some something, but uh, nothing serious. Jan, uh, straight ahead. The uh, kick you landed right at the end of the first round really seemed to have Rockhold rattled. When you came out for the second, could you tell that that kick had still affected him? I think so, yes. I see this in his eyes. He, he go down. He was a little bit dizzy. Uh, my, coach say, my coach says to me that he's hurt, but be careful. Put pressure on him. He's yours. So I just did it. And in that first round, did you see any tells with him that opened him up for that hook that you eventually landed in the second? Did you see indications of that opportunity in the first round? I look at uh, this, uh, this left hand all the time, but it will come in, uh, in second. That was my, my plan, you know, to, to hit him the, the left hand. Jan, that was his, uh, over here, th that was his first fight at light heavyweight. Did he feel... Strong? Did he feel any, any weaker, stronger than anybody he faced? I think so, yes, because I said this before fight that uh, in two fight is different cardio, different uh, you know, uh, conditioning, dif different uh, timing. And I think so, he feel, he feel it, that it's much different. But the sparring he, is different, fight is different. Did he do anything that surprised you? Did he stun you at all and feel any uh, power from him? I No, he did, he did it did, did that what we think he's going to exactly do. Yeah. Jan over here on your right. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, action in the light heavyweight division. There's Johnny Walker. There's Dominic Reyes. You have been at the top of the division for a while. What do you think is next for you? And I'm, I think I come back to the top of the division and someone from the top. Did you see the main event? And what were your thoughts on the fight? How did you score it? Yeah, John Jones win the fight. But it was a great fight. Uh, you know, Thiago showed his best. And it was nice to watch the fight. 